Hello, beautiful viewers. This is the K Popper Unboxer, and I'm coming to you with a special episode. Today, I'm going to vlog, talk, unbox about the Rose and their concert, Dawn to Dusk tour, that I went on and saw last week on Tuesday. I was in Fairfax, Virginia. If any of uh, other of you watching were there, please say something in comments. Um, I got to meet a couple people. Um, everyone was very sweet. I handed out some freebies. So I'll go over the freebies I gave and some of the freebies that I got. And then we'll open some of the merch I bought. And then I will talk about the concert and put some pictures up and um, some video clips of the amazing performance just to get... to show you how incredible The Rose is live. Um, as always, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would thoroughly appreciate that very much to help me grow and afford all these crazy K-pop ticket, er, ticket and album prices. But without further ado, here is my vlog. So first I'll talk about um, the pop-up shop. So the pop-up shop was in Fairfax, Virginia at a tea place called Tea-Do. So T-E-A-D-O. And they, uh, they sold all kinds of tea. Um, when I was there, I got some Thai milk tea with boba. It was delicious. I drank it while I was in line. Speaking of line, I got there about uh, 45 minutes before it was the merch was to go on sale, which was like 3.15. The merch was going on sale at 4. Um, when I got there, there was basically nobody and there was no line. And then about 15 minutes before, so about, a half, so about 15 minutes before 4, the line started forming really fast. So I was able to get behind... Maybe, uh, how many people were there? Probably 20 to 30, maybe a little less than that, maybe more 20. And then some people were together and whatnot. So I wasn't that bad. And then of course the line grew and went all the way around the building. And I have a video of that line bef um, that I was in here. <laughs> And then here is a video of the line as I was leaving, just to give you an idea of how many people were there. So I would say you don't have to like show up like super, super early, unless you're gonna, you know, wanna be the first one in. They had a lot of stuff. Um, I, like I said, I was only 30 people, 20 to 30 people in, so I can't speak for the end of the line and what they had left at the end. But they had everything still, including light sticks, um, albums. They still had all of that stuff and all the little things and photo cards and uh, magnets and stuff. So they still had everything by the time I got there. I ended up having to wait about what I think was 45 minutes to an hour. I don't know the time. I found two friends in line that I'm absolutely in love with. Shout out to you girls. You know who I, you know who you are. And the time just went by so fast because we were striking up conversations about life and K-pop and groups, and it was just great to meet them. Um, so I can't. It, I know we were waiting for a while though. It it wasn't very fast moving line because people would get up to the line and of course they would have to think about what they wanted because there's no menu or anything like that. I guess you could have gathered from maybe the app or the website what they had, but actually they had some things that they don't have on the website, which I was surprised at. Like they have little flags, um, which I would have gotten if I had known Jujun waves the flag during, waves a big version of the flag during the concert. I totally would have gotten a smaller one if I had remembered that, or if I knew that. Um, but I didn't get one. They did have them though. And at both, at 
at the venue and at this pop-up. But anyway, I didn't wait for too long. It went fast for me because I made some friends and was chatting and everybody was lovely. And then by the time I got up there, I decided on, I got the Dawn version of the album, so I got this copy because I already had the Dusk and I had the Dawn Jewel. They didn't have any jewel cases, just the deluxe version. And they were only 20 bucks, I think. Um, so that was one of the things I got. And then I'll go over the other couple of things. I got this badass magnet. I love this magnet. I did not know, this is not available on the website. This magnet is the bomb. It's the, the dawn to dusk look. It's glossy, it's thick, it's brilliant. And you know what? I can't remember what I paid for this. Okay, I can't find the receipt because I'm stupid. Anyway, I, I'm pretty sure it was $10. It wasn't more than that. I, d I doubt it. I don't think I would have paid more. I don't know. Anyway, so I got that. Um, they gave everybody who bought something one of these cool stickers. And then I bought these really cute badge set, which I'm going to put on my bag, my, um, the bag that carries my, um, oh, what do you call it? What is that thing? Light stick. I can think. Okay, so this is the Dawn look. This is the only badge that they had, so I don't know if there was a Dusk at one time and they didn't have it, or this just this is what they had. But I liked the look because this is there, and it's really hard to see, and I can't get really close because then it gets blurry. But it's the look from the Dawn photo book. But I really like this one with the with the four of them and the and the logo. So that's the badge set I got, and that was ten dollars. I remember that. Okay, and then I got two, because I didn't want to be ridiculous. I only got two photo card packs because I. It's my idea that people should be able to. Sh I mean, I didn't want to buy a million packs of these because it's rude. Other people wanted to buy them, and I know photo cards go so fast, and people are obsessed with them, and they are amazing, and I'm pretty sure these photo cards are beautiful, but I just didn't want to take too many, so my limit was two. And they were also $10 a pack, so 20 is plenty on photo cards. So we will open them. I have yet to see them, so I have no idea, no idea what... Um, I have no idea the pools. So let's just keep this background, right? No, let's go to the white background. Okay. Um, they also had, okay, just so, cause I don't, I am a large sized human. So I do not fit all of the little sizes, but I will talk about what they had. They had two t-shirts. One was white and colorful and one was black and had the rose emblem the tour on the back with the graphic of the two circles, which I just got rid of. I should have kept it on here. And that was a black shirt with the with the tour cities on it. That was that's the one I would have gotten if I if it was my size. And then the hoodie, which actually I probably could have fit the the biggest one they had because it's oversized to begin with. So um, the hoodie was beautiful. It was like maroon, and it had half of the boys pictures from this photo shoot with with the ones with their um uh crown of flowers they're wearing where it's over their eyes it's that one but it's half their faces so it's half of Sung, half of dujun half of jaehyung and half of hajir and then that's the back of the hoodie and on the front i believe just says the rose um, it, it's the one from their website that's out of stock but if you go to the tour, it's not out of stock because they have it. So they had all three of those. They had postcards that were the the Dawn kind of look. Um, it's kind of the cover that's on the lyric book. If you go to my Dawn unboxing up here, I'll put a link right there. Um, you'll be able to check all out, that out. But they had those in a postcard. They had phone backs for Dual and or for Dawn and Dusk. Um, for you know those. Um, pop pop things where you can hold on and all stuff 
I have a charger, so it really doesn't work with my phone. But they're cute. Um, they have photo cards. They had, like, it's a badges that I got, the magnet that I got. They had a four-cut photo of the four guys. Um, and I think that's everything that I saw. Okay, then they had light sticks, batteries. Um, the little flag that I spoke of. And, um... Of course, I already said the photo cards like ten times. Um... There's something else. Oh, uh, the bucket hat. And they did have the cases for the light stick. The little clear bag. Which, FYI, when you're going to these concerts nowadays, this is like a new thing. So please try to remember this. It doesn't matter whose concert it is. This is like a thing now. Or at least in this country. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about other countries. But don't bring a purse or anything. Literally, the only thing they allow you in is this time. Like, they have a little card. It's like this big. You can have a clutch, which, you know, who the hell wants... What do you need? What's a clutch going to do? What are you going to carry in that? Anyway, or you can have a clear bag any size. So I would do yourself a favor and order the, the rose bag or some kind of clear bag. And don't ever go to a concert with anything but that clear bag because you will not get in. They will tell you to go back to the car or go back to wherever you came from. And put that bag in the car and it's a big ass problem excuse my french um some woman in front of us had all these medications and luckily she was let in but i was like um she has like medicine that she needs and i do and i take medicine too so i totally get it and she didn't have a clear bag but um i had my clear rose bag and then i had a bts bag that i had all my freebies in and the girl was like yep you can have any size clear bag you want you can have it and one girl had a huge backpack but it was clear and you could see through it so um someone told me that it has to do with throwing stuff on stage not so much weapons because i was like well aren't they searching the bags anyway like if you have a weapon they're gonna see that you have a weapon but i think it's more than that now but just fyi use a clear bag anyway without more talk about that crap let's let's get these open all right, first pack. I believe there is three. Oh, I should show you the other sign. It's kind of shiny, sorry. There's three. Three for one set. And, I, and I'm pretty sure it's eight total, I think, in the thing. Anyway, let's see who we get first. And we got Jaehyung! Looking super cute with his blonde hair. And then we got Usang. His peace sign. And then last for this pack, we got Usang's other one. I don't know. Is he in a car or something? Looks like he's in the back of a car. And then Jan's in like an apartment or something weird but i think there's eight of these as well so we got the wusong set which is hilarious because the album pop the al pops the album pulls were we didn't get any wusong so that's crazy so those are the three from that pack i'm pretty sure i'm gonna finish this set too just because there's not that many the rose doesn't really have that many photo cards um so it's not like it's not like an sm <laughs> you know, group that has millions of photo cards. I don't want to go into that mark in my NCT stuff, if you know. It's just, I, I, if anybody has the indie card, Mark's indie card from the US, please message me and if you want to sell it, I cannot find it anywhere. Okay, anyway, sorry. This is about the rose, not that. So this pool is, oh, dupe, boo, 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 boo. I hope this isn't a dupe pack. Oh. Please don't be a dupe pack. Oh, thank God. Okay, Hajun. And the last pull is Jujun. Yay! So, I think... I have, I have the templo, template downloaded, but I cannot remember what the heck it said. I think there's just two of each. So we're missing one of these guys and one of him. Um, but I'll probably... 
sell him on Bakari. But I have plenty of freebies, so that'll be great. <laughs> anyway, those were our pulls, and that was our merch from the concert. Um, right now I'm going to show you the line at some of the merch booths inside, which are much worse. They have more of them, but the lines are bad. And... <laughs> There were some people still in line when the concert started. Also, T or FYT, what does the T stand for? FYI, they started literally on time. I've never been to a concert, K pop or otherwise. Um, Sugar started like an hour late. I mean, they literally started. I looked at my watch and it said 8 06. They started six minutes late. I thought for sure with the crowd and them only letting us in at seven that they were going to start, like, minimum 8.30. Nope, 8.06, the lights popped off and the music started. So get there on time if you go to the Rose, because these guys don't fool around. You can tell the musicians, because they just they want to do their thing, and they don't need to wait around for nobody. So anyway, um, these are our pulls from the photo cards and all of our really cool merch. I love this magnet. I'm so glad they had it because I love magnets. I have a fridge full of magnets. Now I'm going to show you some of the freebies that other people gave me and some of the freebies that are the freebie that I gave out. Okay, this is my little um, freebie that I gave out. Now, it also had a pack of Junior Mints in it. So those I removed and gave to my dad to eat because he loves them. And I just needed one to show. So I put, bought these little bags on Amazon. I bought some Sanrio stickers on Amazon and these cute acrylic black rose things I'll show you in a second. So like I said, our, I put on the date of the concert and then I put in um, there, I didn't have any card freebies this time, but I put in this really cute Black Rose um, de or, uh, resin, so you can make it. You can make jewelry out of this. You could make a pin, put a pin on the back, make a pin to put on your outfit. So I thought that was really cute to give people. I gave people each a Sanrio sticker, just because for Halloween that was the candy in that. And then I put my business card, which is my YouTube channel and my. All of my socials on here, which are on the, uh, uh, on my homepage. So I thought that was a cute way to like kind of get my name out there on YouTube and also give some freebies out. People were very sweet, and I got some freebies from other people that I will show you right now. I got these two from a young lady who was going through the line of Wusan. And they wrote their Discord, I think this is. Their Let's Be Friends. See Anomaly. Anomaly. Me. See Anemone, but it's Anomaly. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, um, I think they said it's a dis on Discord, and then want to be friends but I thought those were cute and then this beautiful sticker was actually um oops was actually designed by a young lady that I gave a freebie to and not designed I'm sorry she drew this and I was like oh my god like you drew this and then I think she had it mass produced after she drew it obviously could you imagine if she hand drew all of them? But anyway, I was like so impressed. I was like, oh my god, girl, get it. She did amazing. And this is actually her. I hope she doesn't mind me sharing. This is her Insta handle. All, all of her social handles. Are here. But I thought that was so cute. I was like, you drew that? Oh my god. Insane. Talent. The Rose fans, the Black Roses are talented as AF. Okay, so that was pretty much the whole thing. It started on time. 
Um, I'm gonna put these albums back so I can talk about the concert a little bit. So, of course, y'all have seen their set list. Um, they do everything, all the big songs, um, everything on this album. Um, pretty much everything on Heal, or all the big hits from Heal, most of the album, I think. But anyway, I loved when in each song, like where they place each song in the in the concert. They also took a very, very, very short break about halfway through. Um, they kind of left stage for like five minutes at the most and came back on. I was like, that wasn't much of a break. Like, they could probably get some water and like towel off, and that's about all they did. So I really appreciated them because that's a lot of playing. I know because I perform shows for my, for my work and I get super tired, so I can't even imagine. And their show is so energetic and um, all the members got it jumped in front of the set and did ran around. Um, everyone except for Haju, and obviously because he's been on the drums and he doesn't get to run around. But even Jae Hyung with his big bass was running around jumping, and of course Do June and his million instruments he plays. And um, Wu Sung is the one that went out and jumped around a lot, and I will put a clip in there. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, it was brilliant. I loved all the songs. The The lighting was fantastic. It was so cool. It was so perfect for them, the Rose. The sound was impeccable. The drums sounded amazing. The guitar sounded amazing. Everything, even the strings that they had on the tracks that they performed to sounded amazing. Um, the whole concert was just awesome. It was worth every penny. They're, they're brilliant showmen. And I thoroughly enjoyed every single minute. Um, I was up in the back, a little farther back, not too far. And I'll post, at the end of this video, I'll post the video they took with everybody. And I'm sort of up on the left in the back. But it, the arena wasn't very big. It's like an old school basketball, like a college basketball. Well, it is a college basketball arena. But it was made, I believe, in the, even in the 80s or the 90s. Probably the 80s. So it's on the older side. It's where George Mason played, or that's where their basketball team plays. So it's not a new arena. Um, it was lovely, but you could tell it wasn't a new arena. But they had plenty. I mean, they had plenty of men's bathroom. I mean, I that, the concert was most most attendees were mostly women, so they there were lines for that. But um, I never had a problem. And the food lines were a little bit long, and the food was decent. It was typical concert food. But um, the show was just incredible. The audience was incredible. Everyone had their light sticks. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post just a montage of some of my favorite moments from the concert in this video clip, and then we will sign it off. So enjoy the montage. <laughs>
Thank you for introducing us. The beautiful. <laughs>
Some good news to share with you guys. Guess what? <laughs> We've been saying this every city. We're gonna brag about it because it all involves all of you guys, and thanks to you guys, 
that we hit number 83 in Top 200 Number 1 Emerging Artists and all these other great things that we achieved together. And it's all possible because of our Black Rose is here and everyone else in the world. So thank you so much for thank you, thank you. making that happen for us. We have the first song that ever came out on August 3rd, 83. So that number is very significant to us. And that song, Sorry, is the root of the rose's sound. Sorry is what made it possible for us to be here in front of you guys, sharing this wonderful moment together.
How do you feel? Feeling great. <laughs> How do I ice seal the sign? It's my birthday? Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh. Yeah, I'm so, you know, happy to be with you guys at here very fast. First time for the concert. So, I'm so happy and you guys are so beautiful at here. So, thank you for coming and thank you for sharing your story and your time at here. So, Yeah, so thank you so much and see you guys again for sure. <laughs>
Okay, Fairfax. I didn't know the Fairfax was this much energetic. All right, all right. Maybe we should consider coming back. Whether it's your friend, your lover, your family, whoever you came with, I hope you guys had a remarkable memories. And enjoy tonight as much as we did. Thank you. Wherever our music takes us, we're gonna go anywhere. And to Black Roses, as long as we're together, every second will be moments of wonder. Okay, so that was the end of my vlog for The Rose and their 
Dawn to Dusk tour. It was incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like this vlog video. And if you like it, let, leave some comments down below and let me know if you like this kind of video. I'll, I will try to do it every time I go to a concert. I don't know my, my next concert's going to be at this point. But I do have a ton of unboxings coming up. A lot. Everybody is doing a comeback in the next month. Like, everybody. So please look forward to tons of more unboxing videos and an occasional blog. Um, if you're a Black Rose, let me know in the comments. Um, please, once again, please like this video. Subscribe. That would help me out so much if you would subscribe. Share this with your friends if you have any Black Rose friends or, or friends that love the rose. Um, or want to know about the concert before they go. Um, I believe they only have a couple of weeks left on their concert, but it is great. I'm sure they'll go out again at some other point um, when they come out with another album. Or, um, I know it's really hard touring because I've done that before. So I know the guys are super tired, but they did not show it in the concert. So um, always remember, Black Roses, to love each other, take care of each other, and be kind to each other. Because this world is not okay right now. So please, 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 please be kind to each other. And just remember that at least somebody roses you. Oops, I can do it. Is that how you do it? No. I rose you. Bye!